Hello friends, in today's session we will be going through what is API throttling. So API throttling is the process of limiting the number of API requests a user can make in a certain period. An application programming interface functions as a gateway between a user and a software application. For example, when a user clicks the post button on a social media, the button click triggers an API call. This API interacts with the web server of the social media application and performs the action of posting. This user could be a human or another software application. Organizations use API throttling with various goals such as security, scalability, performance, monetization, authentication, and availability. So let's see a real life example. Assume that a person is searching for a flight through an online travel agency website. The website collects information from the user, including origin, destination, and date of travel. Then it uses APIs to fetch the flight information from the global distribution system. So why do business need API throttling? APIs are one of the biggest assets of organizations. APIs help the users of a website or mobile applications fulfill their tasks. As the number of users increases, the website or the mobile application starts showing the signs of performance degradation. As a result, users with better connections or faster interfaces might get a better experience than others. API throttling is an elegant solution that helps organizations to ensure fair use of their APIs. So let's say in, in this case, lots of users are trying to get access to the API and they are calling enormous API calls, which will actually show performance degradation in some applications. So if you'll apply API throttling, we will make sure like it will be the calls will be utilized or the volume of call will be utilized evenly with all the users so that the experience and user experience will be similar to like all the users without any performance degradation. So API throttling also helps to fight back denial of service attack that is called DOS, where a malicious user sends enormous volumes of requests to bring down a website or a mobile application. As the number of online users increases, businesses need to implement API throttling mechanisms to ensure fair uses, data security, and prevent malicious attacks. So let's see how does API throttling work. While there are various algorithms for API throttling, here are the basic steps in any API throttling algorithm. Client, the first will be client, a client user calls an API that interfaces with a web service or application. The API throttling logic checks if the current request exceeds the allowed number of API calls. If the request is within limits, the API performs as usual and completes the user's task. If the request exceeds the limit, the API returns an error response to the user. The user will have to wait for a pre-agreed time period or pay to make any more API calls. What are the major API throttling algorithms? Leaky bucket API throttling algorithm. This algorithm uses a first in first out queue to hold the incoming requests. The queue will have a specific size. When a new API call request is received, it is added to the end of the queue. At regular intervals, this algorithm removes a request from the front of the queue and processes it. If a new request comes when the queue is already full, the request is discarded. This algorithm is closely related to the token bucket algorithm. So advantages of leaky bucket algorithm, easy to implement, 
processes requests at a constant rate even if there is a burst in requests the system is not overloaded in a way the leaky bucket algorithm smooths out the output flow when there is an uneasy input flow what are the disadvantages of leaky bucket as the leaky bucket algorithm uses a fipo queue that is first in first out queue there is a chance of starvation it means that when a queue is full and when a request takes more time to process the newer requests may get discarded this problem arises due to the order in which the requests are processed next algorithm is fixed window api throttling algorithm so in this algorithm the fixed window allows n number of api calls from a user in a particular period for example a fixed window algorithm allows two requests per minute the time frame is divided into fixed frames each of a minute duration at the starting of a minute a counter is set to zero with every user request the counter increases if the counter reaches the upper limit before the time window ends new requests are rejected at the beginning of every minute the counter resets to zero in a typical implementation of a fixed window algorithm each user will have a unique key and a counter associated with the key at the beginning of the fixed time window the counter is reset advantages of fixed window unlike the leaky bucket algorithm a fixed window algorithm will not lead to the starvation of new requests as the counter resets at the beginning of every time window disadvantages of fixed window at the beginning of time window there could be a burst in the user requests for example if there is, if uh, like there is a 1000 request per hour limit all the 1000 requests might be made at the first minute of the window this might overwhelm the system sliding window api throttling algorithm this algorithm solves the requests burst issues with the fixed window algorithm by starting the time window when a request is made for instance it assumes that the system only allows two requests per minute for the user unlike the fixed window the time window starts only when a user actually makes the first request the time stamp of the first request is saved with the counter and the user is allowed to make one more request within that minute advantages of sliding window algorithm the sliding window algorithm combines the advantages of the leaky bucket and fixed window algorithm it eliminates the issues with both the other two algorithms in the slide sliding window newer requests don't starve unlike the fixed window the worst of the request doesn't overwhelm the system what are the benefits of api throttling API throttling is a technique essential to all organizations that expose their services through APIs. Performance API throttling prevents the degradation of system performance by limiting the access uses of an API. If an application has millions of users, a system might get a huge number of API requests per second. Servicing all those API requests will slow down the system and affect its performance. API throttling ensures that every user receives the performance ensured in the service level agreement. Security: An API throttling system acts as a gateway to an API. It helps to prevent the denial service attacks. In denial service attack, an attacker issues a massive number of service requests so that the service becomes unavailable to the legitimate user by limiting the total number of service requests api throttling helps to prevent denial of service attacks reduce unintended or malicious use in case an api gives out sensitive information due to a technical glitch api throttling will limit users getting unauthorized access to data through the compromised api
metering and monetization. APIs are one of the biggest assets of organizations. Monetizing the API usage contributes a significant share to their profit. API throttling helps organizations to meter the usage of their APIs. For example, a web service may offer 1,000 free API calls per hour, but if users need more requests per hour, they have to pay for it. Authentication. API throttling doesn't necessarily only limit the number of calls. Depending on the access privilege of a user, API throttling logic will allow them access to the selected parts of the API. For example, based on the authority of requesters, some users may be able to look up other users and others might be able to edit details of users through the API. So in this session, we have gone through what is API throttling, why do business need API throttling, how does API throttling work, and what are the major API throttling algorithms and API throttling benefits. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.